and the great. <laughs> From overseas and underworld, it's the Crypt Keeper News Network. Good evening, creeps. In the news tonight, Wolfman bites dog. Vampires say life sucks. Mummy takes the rap after years in denial. And illiterate zombies insist they're better dead than red. <coughs> this just in. And our top story tonight is a nasty little soundbite about an ambulance chasing lawyer who's about to bleed the toughest case of her life. I call it, let the punishment fit the crime. Is this really necessary for traffic ticket? Can we speed this up? I get tickets for the next game. I'm stuck in some chicken shit speed trap upstairs. Where the hell are you? What's the name of this burg? Stooksville. Stooksville. Of course, Stooksville. <laughs> are you ready for this? Driving an improperly licensed vehicle. Oh, come on. Yeah, well, I'm stuck here another hour, an hour and a half, so you better meet me at the garden, what? section eight. All right, all right. What about this? Yeah, we'll get something to eat later. Uh, he'll survive. I gotta go. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait. Jerry Ferret, attorney, specializing in personal damage claims, you know. I gotta tell you, it makes my blood boil to see a good man much like yourself who has been grievously harmed by an irresponsible motorist. Hmm. By, uh, an indifferent company. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. By an uncaring government. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That thinks it can settle with chump change. Now, mm -hmm. you may think that you already have a lawyer, but... Chew on this, my friend. Last month, I got a guy not half as banged up as you. A mil six. Cash. <sighs> Think about it. Mm -hmm. Bowser, Donald James, case A5107 to courtroom B. B. Not B. No. Not courtroom B. Please. Please, no. No. Not courtroom B. No. 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 What was that all about? Courtroom B. The judges are supposed to be real hard. So what are you up for? Felonious auto sales. What, you sold somebody a hot stew to Baker? No, I turned the odometer back on a car that I sold a guy. Well, well, that ought to get you ten years. I hope so. This is a very strict town. Uh-oh. Hey, 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 pal. You don't want to see us on the judge. No. Excuse me. 
excuse me. Miss Ferret? Mm -hmm. Hi, I'm Austin Haggard. I've been appointed by the court to handle your case. <laughs> Look, uh, Mr. Public Defender, I'm an attorney. Brooklyn Law, 79. So I see. Uh-huh. And if I wasn't, I don't believe I'd be hiring an eyesore like you to represent me. Did they teach you to dress like that in Bottech Night School? No, Harvard, actually. The clothes just go with the idea of being a public servant. Uh, I think we both should consider... Yeah, your, well, uh, thank you, Counselor. But I will be pleading guilty to this little ripoff and getting the hell out of this town. Uh, no, 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 no. I, do, no you don't, I don't think you want to do this. This is a, a very strict town. I can get the charges reduced. Putz! I told you what I want. Mr. Public Defender, report to courtroom B. Excuse me, I'm just a little overbooked. You're charged with Section 86 of the State Penal Code, driving an illegally licensed vehicle. Are you ready to enter a plea? I'm sorry, Your Honor, but my attorney isn't present. Yes, I am, Your Honor. Come on. Hi. Can I talk to the judge? Well, we hit him on a good day. He's agreed to decrease the sentence to misdemeanor public nuisance. Decrease it? <clears throat> okay, fine, fine. What's it going to cost me? Ten. All this bullshit for ten bucks? Here, keep the change. Not ten dollars, Miss Ferret. Ten lashes. They can flail you now and you can be on your way. Yeah, as soon as you regain consciousness, of course. What the hell? Are you nuts? <sighs> Mr. Haggard, the court's offer is good for about another five seconds. Your Honor, nowhere in New York is corporal punishment. Hmm. Okay. I would like to enter a plea of not guilty to the original charges and depend on the court's swift delivery of justice. Ah, oh, you want uh, you want swift justice. Well, you've got it. What you got there? Miss Ferret was apprehended with this plate on the rear of her Mercedes convertible. Under New York State law, five-digit combinations are reserved for local governments. Is, um, uh, is this yours, Miss Ferret? Well, Miss Ferret? Uh, begging the court's pardon, that is not a five-digit plate, Your Honor. Oh, it is, you see. This is one S, one U, two E's, one M. One, two, three, four, five, 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 five digits. Uh, actually, the space between the two E's counts as one digit, making it a six-digit plate of the type reserved for passenger vehicles. space between the two counts. Your Honor, of exculpatory evidence that speaks to the public-spirited quality what? of the accused. Oh, thank you. Yes. So you were the lawyer who took down Medahart. Yeah, 56 million. Not a bad payday. Amazing. Thank you. As a jury could fall for such a load of garbage. Hey, I proved my case. And my clients were victims of a callous medical establishment. In ten years of use outside the laboratory, the Cardi Talk 7 pacemaker never failed. Ever. Ah, uh, that's irrelevant. We all know mechanical devices break. We, uh, we provided the jury with a range of psychological proofs that the wearers of the Metaheart pacemaker, my clients, burned with that knowledge, uh, suffered life-shortening daily trauma. <laughs> Your Honor, my client is a woman with a noble cause who... Yes, well, you shut up. Thank you. I know exactly what your client is, a cynical and immoral woman. A discredit to her profession. She's lucky I don't charge her for illegal solicitation of services for this. 
this snotty license plate. Guilty as charged. Guilty, like hell. Your Honor, I would ask at this time for a sentence of public service. Public service? No, no. No, you see, not, not, not in this case. Well, the fine is 100 lashes to be administered immediately. Like you said, your case has been thrown out. I told you I'd get you off. You little turd! I had this thing beaten until you showed up with that file folder. How dare you go digging through my car? You stink, you hear me? You're a nag on his way to the glue factory. I'd rather be dead than you. yours. Why? You got a legal problem, too? No. You do. You have the right to remain silent. No. No, no, no. No, 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 no. I've been appointed what by... What the hell is going on? Well... It seems you gave your business card to a man upstairs who had already retained counsel. Yeah, so... That's not illegal. I'm afraid it is illegal. You see, this is a Strip very... Strip down, I get the picture. Ferret Geraldine. Are you ready to stand trial? Yes, we are, Your Honor. You are charged with the illegal solicitation of services in this court. How plead you? We plead not guilty by reason of temporary insanity. <gasps> Your client, my honor, is. Your Honor, my client is the actual victim here. As a child, she was psychologically abused by her entire family. She repressed these horrors until recently. And this inner turmoil made her act irrationally on the occasion in question. What a load of... Guilty as charged. You ready for sentencing? Is that your strategy? Are you crazy? I believe you used the same defense yourself on a number of occasions. I guess I just did not do it right. I am sorry. Oh. At this time, I would ask for a sentence of, of public service. Oh, no, no, no. Not a chance. The prisoner is to be pilloried for a period of one year. <laughs> pilloried. For God's sake, you gotta appeal. There, there was no due process. Really, Miss Ferret, don't you think you ought to just quit while you're ahead? William. Ah! You 
can't do this to me! You can't do this! When I get back to the city, I'll sue you every last one of you! Uh, uh. Oh my god! Oh. Oh my god. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Hello? You're not scared, are you? <laughs> Who's there? Well, this ain't scary. <laughs> scary is not being able to get a pacemaker because you sued the company into bankruptcy. And then having to spend my life savings on surgeries instead. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Or dying because you can't afford a doctor. Because the doctor has to charge so much to pay for his malpractice insurance. Oh. Who are you? What do you want? <laughs> oh, a pound of flesh will be. <laughs> Miss Ferret? Hi. Good news, Miss Ferry. They've granted your appeal. You still want to do it? Get me out of here. I think I'm going nuts. I'll take that as a yes. Mr. Haggard. Very nice to all again. Thank you, Your Honor. Miss Ferris, I've read your attorney's brief, and however persuasive his presentation, find no reason to overturn the other judge's verdict. So your actions were cut and dried. You violated the law, and you must pay. However, the, uh, the sentence handed down by my colleague was wholly inappropriate. <laughs> Now, I sentence you to death by electrocution. <laughs> sentence to be carried out immediately. Your Honor, begging the court's pardon, may I approach the bench? Oh, very well. Yes? Yeah. Opinion, and while your client is an unmitigated scum bucket, her skills are worthwhile and should be put to work for the public wheel. Now, I hereby sentence you to return home to do public service for a time yet to be specified. Let's get out of here before he changes his mind. What the hell? I thought this was a way out. It is. No! Ah! Uh, welcome back, Jer. Ah! I had a feeling we might bump into you again. And this time, <laughs> you're gonna get what you deserve. No, I'm not supposed to get the chair! Come on. Have a seat. <laughs> no, the, the judge! The judge said I get to go home to public service. Isn't that what he said? Yes, get out of my way. All right! Straight me down, boys! What are you doing? Getting out of Sticksville for good. Yeah, I thought I'd be stuck here forever till you came along. What? In my day, I got off more big-time dirt bags with a slap on the wrist than a low-life ambulance chaser like you could count. We didn't use any cheese ball victim defense either. We just bought the jury. But, but I get to go home and, and do public service, right? You are home, counselor, and I'd rather be dead than you. <laughs>
No. Not this. Ms. Public Defender, report to courtroom A. No! 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 Talk about trial and terror. Still, I think Jerry will do just fine. I mean, aside from the occasional attack of motion sickness. <laughs> and now it's time for business news. So, Chip, what happened on the shock exchanges today? Oh, oh sorry. Looks like it's time for the spurts report instead. <laughs> oh, boy. Ha, 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 ha,